Good afternoon everybody. This is uh, Mark Lambert from the uh, Theta's Pendulum Trading Group, uh, which is a Google group. And uh, this is our, our website. Basically this is uh, Tony and my website, thetaspendulum.com, uh, where you can basically learn about us and learn what we do. And, uh, and I just want to go over uh, just a couple quick things today. One, uh, actually the, the, the goal of this is to show people how to upload an ephemeris out of Solifier. And uh, from there, because we will be doing some cycle seminars, uh, possibly this weekend. And, you know, we're going to probably do a series of these as we move along. And uh, just to kind of, you know, gauge the S&P 500 or the ESs. Both of them run hand in hand. And uh, from there, we'll, uh, we'll see how everything works out. But I'm just going to do a quick recap of uh, what happened this past Friday in the S&P 500. Uh, this is uh, just a couple levels I was looking for and you know these these were being emailed out not only by myself but many other talented traders also in the group we're also looking at these levels also um, Friday's downdraft that we had basically came into a long-standing trend channel that has been uh, basically intact since March of, uh, of 09 basically from wave 2 to where we've determined a wave 4 to be and uh, we came and supported pretty much right on it today, on uh, Friday. We, we breached it slightly, but depending on what type of scaling you're using, uh, you basically you could have landed right on it. We also have these action reaction conical fans also that also uh, basically acted as support in that area. And it was also very, very close to a 161.8 FIB. But the fact that it did uh, breach it a little bit. Uh, kind of has me on alert a little bit, but uh, no matter what, this could definitely have been a bottoming action that happened on Friday. Hopefully, you took advantage of that. And uh, you know these these uh, areas that we we were aware of for the last uh, several weeks, as a matter of fact, figuring that this channel would be tested at one point or another. But uh, anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is show how to upload an ephemeris because I know I've had a couple questions from people. Uh, you know personally and also on the website that uh, Tony and I have and this, I'm just gonna do, do a quick run through so that way as we do the seminar uh, you'll be able to uh, basically follow along you'll already have this set up and uh, you know if you do not have Solifier that's okay uh, what you can do is uh, that there are probably plenty of free websites that you can subscribe to um, you know online and probably download an ephemeris and uh, that there are also other types of software also that you can download ephemerises but I don't have that software so I'm going to run through how I do it on Solifier. Uh, what you do is go down to uh, the dynamic right here in this area uh, on this menu bar you click on ephemeris generator there's, there's numerous ways that you can do this but uh, this would be the quickest and easiest way to do it, it would be qu click on ephemeris gener generator and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, generate using longitude day of the week using side aerial time or side reel still not too sure how to uh, how to pronounce that I've heard it both ways heliocentric true node and we're gonna use minute of arc we're gonna use decimal degrees because I don't like using zodiacal time because I'm not an astrologer so when you start talking about airy you know 29 degrees Aries 32 minutes it's like it really doesn't mean anything all that much to me uh, what I want to know is exactly where it is in a 360 degree circle uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate this from January 1 2005 start time 12 p.m. to December 31st 2012 uh, 12 p.m. Um, basically the transiting points I'm using I'm using uh, sun out I'm using sun out well, this is very, very loud. Let me put this down a little bit here. Uh, if you're using uh, transiting points in Solifier, uh, you might have to actually edit this. I edit it to uh, you, what I want my uh, ephemeris to, to generate. Basically, I have all the planets, you know, from the Earth, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and I also added the asteroids of Chiron and Ceres, which uh, quite a few people use. Um, Okay, it's been selected, it's already in the end. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to click start. Oh, as a matter of fact, the, the frequency too. This is uh, one ephemeris, uh, well, basically the degrees plotted every day at 12 p.m. So, start. 
solar is going to generate the fmrs and what we're going to do we're going to we're going to basically uh export this to excel after and that's the fmrs that we're going to use during the seminars okay and from here we export it i'm going to call this uh let's call it fm1 uh, to my desktop save it's going to come up click yes and there we go at this point now i can shut off solar fire i no longer need it oops uh, let me click that off okay and this is what we're going to use right now as you can see i, I did everything from january 1st 12 p.m from uh, 2005 and this goes all the way down to December 30 December 30th 12 p.m. of 2012 um, what we're gonna do with this this is how you would generate the ephemeris and what we're gonna do with the uh, seminars uh, where Tony's actually gonna lead this seminar and show how to basically find uh, sympathetic relationships between market action and uh, various planets that are uh, in the sky at that point in time and and we're going to be using heliocentric centric sidereal and synodic periods um, uh, basically that's how you uh, set this up these are basically all the degrees based on a 360 degree circle that's uh, that we're going to be plotting so that's how you uh, get an ephemeris and hopefully we'll see you at the seminar um, which will be recorded for those in the uh, Thetas Pendulum Trading Group. And from there, we're going to move on and get into uh, deeper cycles and more analysis in the near future too, vector analysis. And, you know, we, we just had a, uh, I guess, a very successful Elliott Wave seminar a couple of weeks back. You know, many people liked it and actually it, uh, it encouraged a few people to actually start taking it up again when they had uh, basically forsaken it years ago. But uh, like anything, there's nothing in particular that... Uh, that it that is uh, the best way or whatever it's whatever works for you and I kind of look at it this way as many traders do in our group that's uh, that the more tools you have in your tool bag the better it is for you so uh, with that said that's how you generate an ephemeris using solar fire if you don't have solar fire you can probably uh, uh, download this off of a couple different sites just put in ephemeris generator or something inside of Google and chances are you'll you'll probably get you know come up with something or if you have other types of software also that they'll generate the same thing and uh, also in our group if you do not have solar fire or anything like this that could do this for you all you got to do is ask there's probably uh, dozens of people that will be more than happy to send you an Excel uh, file with uh, basically the ephemeris that you're going to need so anyways with this said it's uh mark labor it's august 6th 4 30 in the afternoon uh, i just hope everybody has a great weekend godspeed and uh, good trading to you